Good morning. Today I will discuss the three diseases that is leprosy, filariasis and tuberculosis. <clears throat> Especially in the last part we will discuss surgery in leprosy patient, in tuberculosis patient and in filarial patient. The first I will discuss about the leprosy. <clears throat> leprosy it is a very old disease and the leprosy is also called Henson disease. It was discovered by G. H. Amor Henson in the year 1873. It is a very old disease. First of all, it was said that it is a disease of sin and the God will cure the disease. But when leprosy was discovered by the Henson, then it is the mycobacterium lepri which is responsible for this. This mycobacterium lepri was discovered by Henson. Next. So cause of leprosy is mycobacterium lepri. How it is spread? It is spread by it is a very infectious disease, but today due to the various kinds of drug, it is the prevention which will <coughs> be mandatory. So how it spreads? It spreads by droplet infection. When any infected persons uh, coughs, sneeze or sings or laugh, then this droplet infection is spread and when a non-infected person come in contact then this is spread to that normal person. Symptoms and signs of leprosy. It usually affect the skin and the nervous tissue, especially the peripheral nerve. So loss of sensation especially in the cooler part of the body. The skin lesions are hypopigmented macule. Uh, the color of the skin changes from the normal color. And then due to this painless lesion, ultimately if there is a burn or uh, cut, the patient did not recognize it due to numbness and it may cause infection and there will be the painless ulcer. Then it affects the eye very severely and the signs are dryness and reduce blinking. It may cause blindness of the eye. Next that is the skin nodule, loss of digits, loss of digits both in the finger and the toes and there will be the facial disfigurement that is the lump and bumps in over the face. <clears throat> How will diagnose the disease? The disease is diagnosed, we will take the smear from the skin, from the nasal secretions and it will look in the microscope by gel insulin stage, the acid first bacilli will be seen in the microscope. So this is diagnosed by smear examination or the biopsy of the skin and the nerves that will show the mycobacterium lep lepri. <coughs> now the treatment of the leprosy, the <coughs> one is called possibacillary, multibacillary and the single lesion. What is possibacillary? Possibacillary means there are so many lesions in the skin or in the nerves. It usually affects the limb, mouth, nose and nerves. So possibacillary, they are, these are the lesions but when we check the biopsy or any smear then this my, my Mycobacterium lepri will be absent. So absence of Mycobacterium lepri, but lesion is present that is called the possibacillary. And what is multibacillary? Multibacillary means 
lesion may be one, but the microfilaria will be seen in the microscope. That is called multibacillary. The treatment also varies in this. In postbacillary, <coughs> the treatment is of rifampicin for six months and dapsin for. <coughs> Rifampicin six month means it is once monthly 600 mg rifampicin for six month and dapsin uh, it is 100 mg daily for six months. These drugs are freely available by WHO. So patient do not buy these drugs. Now if there is a single lesion. Then rifampicin of 600 mg once, and ofloxacin 400 mg once, and minocycline 100 mg once. Then in case of possibacillary, possibacillary the in uh, multibacillary rifampicin and dapsin, but in possibacillary one extra drugs drugs that is the clofazimin. in the beginning that means uh, when the drugs will be started rifampicin 600 mg once in a month and clofazimin 100 mg uh, 300 mg once monthly but dapsin 100 mg daily and clofazimin 5 Uh, 500, uh, 50 mg daily for 12 months so in possibacillary it is for 6 months in multibacillary it is for 12 months and for a single lesion it once i was telling about that hansen disease affects the skin and the nerves what are the nerves they involve they involve the ulnar nerve median nerve radial nerve superficial fibular nerve posterior tibial nerve posterior auricular nerve these are the peripheral nerves involved the, among the sensory nerve there will be the anesthesia it may be hypoanesthesia or anesthesia and it will produce ulcer if motor nerve is involved the muscle will be paralyzed if ulnar nerve is paralyzed patient will complain of claw hand or you will see there is claw hand radial nerve wrist drop left popliteal foot drop and posterior tibial if nerve is involved then claw toes and facial nerve there will be the lag of thalamus what is lag of thalamus lag of thalamus means you when a patient do not close the eye that is called lag of thalamus for this there will be dryness of the eyes there will be the less visual acuity and what is called blindness if autonomic nerve is involved there there will be the lack of sweating and sebum so in case of leprosy patient the skin will be dry so dry skin and cracked skin and if it is dry and cracked skin there is infection and after that the ulcer will be seen so condition that require surgical intervention irreversible claw hand if ulnar and median nerve paralysis then the it will produce claw hand the foot drop the later if lateral popliteal nerve is involved then there will be the foot drop foot drop means the patient is unable to dorsiflex the foot a uh, lag of thalamus that is the involvement of the facial nerve wrist drop irrespective wrist drop the radial nerve will be involved if <coughs> there is recurrent wound of the hand and feet and the sequestrum will be produced 
and so you have to remove the sequestrum. Cataract in one or both eyes with visual acuity less than 6 by 60. It easily involves the If there is a gynecomastia, then there will be the testicular and liver damage. In case of madrosis, graft from the scalp and temporal artery, island plan. Sagging of the face and megalobule, destruction of the elastic and collagen fiber in the dermis. There will be the nasal deformity, the washing of the nasal bone, the invasion and destruction of the nasal tissue, especially the nasal septum. <clears throat> so what will be the surgeries for leprosy? Surgery of leprosy depend upon how much destruction in the patient. In the initial stage, the surgery is beneficial, but in the less stage, it will not beneficial. So what are the surgeries would we do in a leprosy patient? The surgery for ulceration, for lag of thalamus, facial palsy, scar contracture, shortening of the digits, claw hand, wrist drop, foot drop, skeletal disorganization of the foot and collapsed nose. Uh, reconstructive surgery in leprosy. First, Reconstructive, what will be the aim of the reconstructive surgery in case of leprosy procedure? Is, usually it is to restore the function and form as far as possible. The patient to be told that it will be beneficial for you if you come earlier and he is already finished his medicine. Then to restore the function and form as far as possible prevent further disability. It is the aim to prevent further whatever lost has been lost, but it will prevent the further disability. Prevention of the disability and rehabilitation process. The reconstructive surgery possible for lag of thalamus, foot drop, if ulnar and medial nerve paralysis, that is the wrist drop and collapse nose. Precaution, successful outcome depend upon the pre- and post-operative physiotherapy. Ability to learn the use of the new ability. Criteria for referral for reconstructive surgery. The criteria has been grouped into three categories, social and motivation, physical and leprosy treatment. If is a patient is not properly treated, then it will not be possible to come out with the successful surgery. Patients and health workers should be involved in the decision of refer. The social and motivational criteria, all the patients who will benefit socially, occupationally and economically should be considered. It should have the potential to make a differentiate to the patient acceptance in their society and their family to improve their socio-economic situation. Because leprosy patients come from the very low socioeconomic group where the hygiene is not maintained, patient must well be motivated and have demonstrated that they can be responsible for their own health and follow the instruction on treatment of care of their eyes, hand and feet before the surgery. Patient who not are not well motivated in self-care and not likely to be willing to participate on the essential pre- and post-operative therapy. So in case of Hansen's disease, it is very essential, the pre- and post-operative physiotherapy. You have already done surgery, but he is not taking proper care of the his hand or feet or mouth, then the result will be not successful. So it will be told to the patient that your work will also depend upon the successful of surgery and the financial support or compensation for the loss of income and the trouble, the surgery involved loss of economy for a period of several months. Physical criteria, what the criteria under which the patient will go into surgery? The age should be between 15 to 45 years. The duration of muscle paralysis, it should not be more than three years. 
it should be at least one year, not more than one year. And the joint should be, there should be the supplessness of the joint, more useful criteria. Severe contracture of the joint and stiff joint, if it is that there is a severity in the disease, then the su surgery will be not successful. <coughs> no infection of the skin. So you have to see be, before surgery, there will be <coughs> no infection in the skin, such as scabies or on the uh, deep crack wound or ulcer at the time of referral. The leprosy treatment criteria, what should be the criteria for the leprosy treatment? They should complete their six months course or 12 month course, free from reaction and symptomatic Neuritis for at least six months. There should be no lepra reaction in case of surgery. Should not have lepra reaction during past six months unless the surgery is for neuritis. And the, when you examine, there should be no tenderness of any major nerve trunk in the limbs. Conditions that require surgical intervention. Irreversible claw hand, ulnar or median nerve paralysis, foot drop, the, when the lateral popliteal nerve involved, claw hand means claw toes, posterior tibial nerve, lag of thalamus, facial nerve. And criteria for fitness is wrist drop, that is radial nerve. Condition that requires surgical intervention, recurrent wound of the hand and feet, you have to remove the sequestrum. Chronic nerve pain and nerve abscesses, you have to drain the abscesses. Cataract, cataract in one or both eye with visual equity less than 6 by 60. Gynecomastia, enlarged breast in case of male. Conditions that require surgical intervention, facial deformity requiring plastic surgery. Mandrosis graft from the scalp and the temporal artery, island flap. Shagging of the face, megalobule, destruction of the elastic collagen fiber of dermis, preauricular and nasolabial face lift, nasal deformity, invasion and destruction of the nasal tissue, especially of the nasal septum. Priorities of re reconstructive surgery. First priority, you have to give the lag of thalamus. Operation for lag of thalamus is usually considered as high priority because of the possibility of the secondary damage of the eye. There may be blindness of the eye even. Feet are usually considered the next priority by hand, but this may depend upon the needs of the individual patient. Most patients, there is a period of few years in which surgery is most likely to be beneficial. It starts when the disease is stable, free of reaction and neuritis, and MDT is established. And the muscle paralysis is not likely to progress to or to recover. If there is a lag of thalamus, you do tarsography. In case of foot drop, <coughs> you do the surgery for the foot drop. Amputation. You have to do the amputation if the finger is already absorbed and not functioning. You amputation for the toes, finger and even for the limbs. And in case of ulcer, chronic ulcer, you give ulcer, you give skin flap. The general criteria for fitness of surgery, ideal age between the 15 to 45 years, duration of deformity should not be more than 6 months. A new case of treatment, at least six months of MDTT course, no lepra reaction within six months, no foci of secondary infection after leprosy, a surgery in phyleresis. Before going to the surgery in phyleresis, I will brief about the phyleresis, how it occurs what are the diagnosis, how we will treat. So what is phyleresis? Phyleresis is a disease which is caused by the bite of the mosquito. 
what are the mosquitoes mosquitoes are anopheles culex aedes and mansonites in africa it is anopheles in america it is culex and in pacific and asia it is <coughs> aedes and mansonite there are two types of filariasis usually if the filaria infects the lymphatic system so lymphatic filariasis and subcutaneous filariasis in uh, lymphatic filariasis there are three types that is the ucheria brancophti brugia malai and brugia timori and in subcutaneous filariasis it is loa loa mansonella streptocarsa and oncocera volvulus i was told that is it is a mosquito bite the mosquito is the vector and the disease comes from mosquito to human and from human to mosquito how human to mosquito if any man is suffering from the filaria and when the mosquito bites with the help of the proboscis it goes to the mosquito and when an infected mosquito bites a normal man he again be infected by filaria microfilaria so mosquito bite anopheles africa culex america and aedes and mansonella asia pacific what are the symptoms and signs of filaria if it involves the skin it will be the itchy skin pain in the abdominal chest and muscle and testicular swelling under the skin there will be thickening of the skin there will be a fever uh, along with the fever there will be the chill usually the filaria attacks the lymphatic system and the lymphangitis when occurs it obstructs the lymphatic flow so the limb will swollen and also the lymph node will be involved so there will be the lymphadenopathy elephantiasis means swelling of the leg arm scrotum vulva and the breast and there may be the skin exfoliation means there will be the uh, in the al- ulcer in the skin or blebs and it also affects the testis and scrotum there may be hydrocele or <coughs> epididymis orchitis phenyculitis what is phenyculitis phenyculitis is the infection of the spermatic cord and uh, if there is a dilatation of the lymph vessels then this is called lymph varics again another are cholera abscess lymph scrotum and pyocele diagnosis how will diagnose that the patient is suffering from the filaria by physical examination and the test the demonstration of the microfilaria in the peripheral smear usually at night because this microfilaria comes in the circulation during the night so we have to take the blood during the night then may be the increase in the eosinophil eosinophilia and tissue biopsies will show the adult worm in the histopathological examination and we have to do the serological test or use of antigen treatment the treatment of filaria with albendazole diethyl carbamazine citrate and ivercitin the dose of albendazole is 400 mg diethyl carbamazine 6 mg per day and ivercitin 200 to 400 ug per day <clears throat> so what are the surgeries we will do in case of filaria first is the hydrocelectomy the patient is suffering from the hydrocele so after testing all the things we can do hydrocelectomy if the hip, uh, scrotum is huge then we will do scrotoplasty for elephantiasis of the scrotum incision and drainage of the scrotal abscess and if testis is involved we will do orchidectomy surgery for elephantiasis of the leg there are so many types of surgery in case of elephantiasis but all depends upon whether the patient is of 
chronic disease for long duration, if there is a huge elephantiasis and it is of long duration, then the outcome will be the poor. <coughs> now, third disease is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is very prevalent disease and most of the country was suffered, but at present the countries which are suffering from the tuberculosis are India, Indonesia, Brazil. <coughs> These are the country mostly in birth. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is one of the most prevalent infection of the human beings and contribute considerably to illness and death around the world. It is spread by inhaling tiny droplets of the saliva from the cough sneeze of an infected person. And it's slowly spreading. It <coughs> slowly spreading in the India. Fifty percent of the tuberculosis is prevalent in India. And other developed countries, there are so not so many cases. So, Mycobacterium tuberculi. The disease is caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculis. This is a rod separate bacilli and under the microscope it will be seen. The uh, tuberculosis was now a days it is called Cox disease because the Robert Cook discovered in the year 1882 this is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculi. So what are the types of the Tubercular. Pulmonary tuberculosis occurs in human, avian tuberculosis in the bird, and bovine tuberculosis in cattle. The incidence. With the increased incidence of the AIDS, the TB has become a more problem in the US and the world. Which person will be more affected by tuberculosis. If the person goes in contact with a tubercular person and his immune system is poor, then he will be affected. With the increased incidence of AIDS, the TB has become the more problem in the US and the world. It is currently estimated that half of the populations of the India is suffering from tuberculosis. So etiology is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This is same as the Mycobacterium lepri. It, it is the spread through the droplet infection. If the patient coughs, sneeze, laughs, sings, then person in contact, the normal person in contact with the infected person will be affected. If he's, uh, the diseased person is not taking the tuber anti tuberculosis drug for more than 12 months. Exposure to TB. <coughs> what are the risk factors? That is the close contact with some who have active TB, immunocompromised status. If the patient is suffering from the diabetes or any cardiac disease or HIV, then these persons will be infected more than that of the normal person. Other is drug abuse and alcoholism. The patients who are taking alcohol, smoking or other drugs, they will be more prone to tuberculosis. Pe people lacking the adequate health care, pre-existing medical conditions, I have already told. These are the living in substandard conditions and occupational health that is the health worker who is also pathophysiology. Pathophysiology, how does disease start? Initial infection or primary infection. Entry of the microorganism through the droplet nuclei. The droplet nuclei trickles and it goes to the alveoli where they will focus, that is called the Gons focus, and ultimately it is called the bronchopneumonia and it will affect the lung giving rise to pleurisy, pleural effusion, bronchopneumonia, etc. This is how the disease spreads and from the focus 
gonti workle ulcer and releasing cheesy material into the bronchi bacteria then became airborne resulting into further spread of infection ulcerated tubercle heals and became scar tissue <coughs> if the person is infected or more 25% shows the latent infection but he is infected but he do not show the symptom 15 to 10 percent sir so the active disease so what will be the clinical in manifestations of clinical manifestation you can divide into two that is the general uh, symptoms and the symptoms related to the lung or the bronchi general symptoms is the anorexia means loss of appetite low grade fever usually the fever comes in the night so low grade be 101 102 and there will be the sweating night sweats fatigue weight loss now if the lungs is involved then the symptoms are dyspnea dyspnea means difficulty in the breathing non resolving bronchopneumonia chest tightness he will feel that there is a tightness in the chest non productive cough the patients will cough uh mycoprolent sputum with hemoptysis hemoptysis means the cough contains the blood and the chest pain extra pulmonary symptoms are <coughs> the tuberculosis does not involve only the lungs but it also involve the many other organ liver kidney skin brain all but from head to toe it affects the tuberculosis the assessment and diagnostic finding history collection physical examination uh, physical examination the clubbing of the finger uh, or toes and swollen of the tender lymph node if it is a miliary tuberculosis what is called the miliary tuberculosis miliary tuberculosis means the tubercles spreads through out the body with and it is a hematogenous spread a physical examination may show swollen liver swollen lymph node what are the test involved in tuberculosis tuberculosis test involved that is the routine examination tcdc hemoglobin and after that you have to do the chest x ray ct scan and the biopsy of the affected tissue if you find a cervical lymph node then you do the cervical limb biopsy then the bronchoscopy chest ct scan chest x ray interferon gamma release blood test such as qft gold test to test for the tb infection one is test called quantiferon gold test you will learn later on the, what is the tuberculin skin test tuberculin in skin test in which 0.1 ml of ppd ppd means purified protein derivative is injected into the forearm and you see the result in 40, 48 to 72 hours if there is induration more than 10 mm then you will do suspect that this has latent or active tb what are the complications of tb it may affects the bone that is the spinal or any other joint <coughs> that is he is suffering may be suffering from the spine of tuberculosis or any other bony tuberculosis it may affects the brain causing meningitis liver and skin there may be tuberculosis of the liver and the kidney heart cardiac tamponade and pleural effusion medical management this is very important medical management of tuberculosis because 50% of the tb patient are in india so medical management is very important so what are the drug used in and what are the side effects of it how do the drugs mechanism of action all to be known so there are first line treatment and the second line treatment first line anti tubercular medications are 
आइसोनियाजाइड रिफम्पिसिन इथम्बिटल पायराजीनामाइड स्टेप्टोमाइसिन द डोज यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर अबाउट द आइसोनियाजाइड दैट इज फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर डे रिफम्पिसिन दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड मिलीग्राम पर डे एंड इथम्बिटल एट हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर डे इफ द आइसोनियाजाइड इज फाइव मिलीग्राम पर डे रिफम्पिसिन टेन मिलीग्राम पर डे एंड इथम्बिटल फिफ्टीन मिलीग्राम पर डे एंड पायराजीनामाइड 15 to 30 mg per day some are bacteriostatic and some are bactericidal you have to remember which is bacteriostatic and which is bactericidal isoniazide is a bacteriostatic it inhibits the cell wall synthesis and pyrogenamide mode of action pyrogenamide its affects its enzyme and from which the pyrogenamide change to into the pyrogenic acid which <coughs> is involved in the cleaning of the gob why it is called bacteriostatic the drug which arrests the growth of the bacteria is called bacteriostatic and drug which kills the bacteria is called bactericidal now if there is a failure in the first line treatment then the resistance of the drug come so second line of medications is capromycin 12 to 15 mg per day ethanamide 15 mg per day paraamino salicylic sodium 200 to 300 mg per day cyclosporine 15 mg per day so if the drug become resistance then second line medications will come over then if second line medications fails then there are third line of the drug other drug that may be useful but are not on the who list of the sld these are rifabutin macrolides linozolid thiazetone now there is one word is the, that is called dot dot me, dot means directly observed treatment short course and this dots there are some trainer who is given trained about the bacteria how will diagnose it is usually by the sputum the sputum uh, at least 2 ml of the sputum it will be examined under direct microscope if it is positive for uh, acid fast bacilli and there may be culture again to that if they are positive and then the dots can instruct them and they give the treatment so is the name given to the world health organization recommended tuberculosis control strategy that combines five components government component including both the political will at all level and establishing a centralized and prioritized system of tubercular monitoring recording and training case the dot is especially criterial for patient with drug resistance tb hiv infected patient and those on intermittent treatment with the regimens that means the dot directly observed treatment given by the trained technicians they examine the patient they diagnose the patient and they give the treatment to the patient and if there is a doubt they consult with the doctor and they give the treatment one word is called mdt mdt means multi drug therapy in tuberculosis we do the mdt multi drug therapy to treat tuberculous patient taking several different anticular drug at the same time if it is a first line treatment then we give isoniazide rifampicin for 2 months and uh, rifampicin pyrogenamide ethambutol for 2 months first four drug and then rifampicin and isoniazide for the next four month it if it is a six month treatment <coughs> nursing management is also essential obtain the history exposure to the tb assess for the symptom of the active disease and auscultate the lung 
for crackle during drug therapy and assess the liver. The <coughs> nurses should be also trained how to manage a patient of tuberculosis, ineffective breathing pattern related to pulmonary infection and potential for long-term scarring with the decreased lung capacity, intervention, administration and teacher staff administration of medication ordered, encourage rest and avoid exertion, monitor breath sound, respiratory rate, sputum and production of the dyspnea. Risk factor for spreading the infection related to nature of the disease and patient symptom. You should be aware if there is any active TB patient, you always use the mask in front of him. Use the high efficiency of particulate mask. Educate the patient to control the spread of infection by coughing mouth or nose while coughing and sneezing. There is isolation ward in every hospital for TB patient because if they are active and any normal person come in contact with the TB patient, then he will also be infected. So instruct about the risk of the drug resistance to the drug also. The patient is instructed that they have to take regular dose of the drug. They should not miss any one drug any day. Imbalance nutrition, the nutrition is very important in case of any chronic disease because you have to ma maintain the health. So they should be instructed and the hospital should give them the healthier food. Explain the importance of eating nutrient diet to promote the healing and defense against infection. Pro provide a small frequent meal, monitor weight of the patient because there is a weight loss in case of and anorexia also. So they have to give good, good appetizer so that they take adequate amount of food. Administered vitamin supplements are added. Non-compliance of related to lack of motivation and lack of treatment. Education is very important. You have to educate the patient about the disease, about the failure of the treatment, about the resistance of the drug, particular observation of medication taking weekly pill counts of the or program designed to increase the compliance with the treatment of the TB. Explain the TB is a communicable disease. How to prevent the TB so that it cannot occur in normal person. So patients should be isolated, the vein room should be well ventilated and he should cover the mouth and even who is going to the patient, it means doctor, nurses and other workers, they should also go with a cover of mouth and nose by mask. Now what are the surgeries done in case of tuberculosis? Mainly if the patient is tackled in the early days, then multi-drug therapy will cure the patient. But if patient is irregular in taking and he is not seeing himself or there is any lack in any part, then the surgery part comes. So who will benefit from most of the surgical invention? A high probability failure of medical therapy in the multi-drug resistance treatment. Suppose that patient has taken multi-drug treatment for six months, but if there is a no cure for the patient, then we will search what is the cause of failure of the treatment. Then we will find if there is a cavities present and it is not responding to medical treatment, then we will do surgery. So high probability of failure of medical therapy in multi-drug resistance TB patient due to persistent cavity disease and lung or lower destruction and massive hemoptysis or tension pneumothorax. If the patient develop massive hemoptysis, it is not controlled by the medicine, so surgery will be there. And if there is a tension pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax, pneumothorax means air in the pleural cavity. And there is entering the air, but it is not existing, then it is a medical emergency of 
tuberculosis. Per <coughs> persistent positivity of the sputum spear culture despite adequate therapy. If the patient is taking medicine but is still he have culture positive, then we have to find out what is the cause and if there is a criteria fit with the surgical involvement, then we will do surgery. The recurrent and recalcitrant localized disease. If there is a failure of multidrug therapy and there is a localized disease, then we have to remove that lobe or segment. Destroyed lung with the recurrent infection with adequate pulmonary reserve. If the adequate pulmonary reserve is there and some part of the lung is destroyed, then you can do surgery. Bronchopulmonary fistula. Bronchopulmonary fistula we have to do in this case surgery because it is not treated by multidrug therapy. Patient who benefit most of the surgical invention, repeated hemoptysis and secondary infection, localized disease, amenable to resection, polyresistance and multidrug resistance TB. Absence of any radiological or bacteriological improvement during initial three to four months of the chemotherapy, then we have to think about the surgery. Allergy, toxic and mixed side effect of the drug, chronic diseases of the gastrointestinal, hindering effective chemotherapy stage of the disease for surgical intervention. The risk of surgery currently in any surgery there is a risk of, you have to tell the patient that there are risk in doing the surgery. What are the early complication of surgery? Complication. There may be respiratory failure, there may be bronchopulmonary fistula, wound infection, post of hemorrhage, recurrent laryngeal nerve injury. We have to tell the patient that during surgery there may be the loss of voice. Intrathoracic bowel herniation. This <coughs> the, what are the late complications? Late complications, the late respiratory failure, recurrent multidrug resistance TB, drug overdose, myocardial infarction and renal failure. Combined medical and surgical intervention. Culture positive patient at the time of surgery with susceptible TB 4 to 6 months after culture conversion with multidrug resistant TB at least 18 months after culture conversion, with <coughs> extensive drug resistance TB at least 24 months after culture conversion, culture negative patient at the time of surgery with susceptible TB at least 4 months after surgery, with extensive drug resistance TB 6 to 8 months after surgery. Types of surgical inventation, what are the surgeries? are done in cases of TB, wedge resection, segmentectomy, lobectomy or bilobectomy, combined resection, lobectomy plus minor resection, pneumonectomy, pleuronemonectomy, lung resection, extra pleural thoracoplasty, thoracal myoplasty and pleurectomy and decortication of the lung. Types of surgical intervention, operation on the bronchi, what are the Surgeries on done on bronchi, occlusion, resection, bronchoplasty, reamputation of the stem, thoracocentesis and thoracostomy, artificial pneumothorax and pneumoperitoneum, operation on both lung. So at the conclusion I have told about the three diseases, <coughs> tuberculosis which is called Cox disease. Hence, uh, leprosy, which is called Henson's disease, and filariasis. The two, that is the tuberculosis and leprosy, are caused, they are infective disease caused by the bacteria. One is mycobacterium lepri, and other is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Both are curable, but we patient have to take the adequate drug with no lapse of taking the drug for a single day. And the filariasis is a disease which is caused by the vector. The vector is mosquito. The, the disease is caused by the mosquito bite when it bites 
when the mosquito bites an infected person that it comes from the infected person to a normal person in these three diseases all do not develop the disease whose immune system is compromised suppose that a patient is suffering from the hiv he will be more prone to get tb than the normal person in a immunocompromised patient that is the hiv or diabetes or is suffering from the any cardiac disease then he will get most of the disease and <clears throat> it is always in both in three disease it is prevention is better than cure we have how to prevent the disease even in case of leprosy in tuberculosis or in filariasis in tuberculosis how to prevent it if the patient is suffering it is a known case and who is not taking the drug then a normal person should not go to him and he will be instructed that you have to take the medicine for you and for others and the drug is very important in case of leprosy uh, in tuberculosis and in case of filaria এখন তো হচ্ছে না রেকর্ডিং দি ড্রাগ দ্য নেম অফ দি ড্রাগ হোয়াট আর দ্য ড্রাগ ইন কেস অফ লেপ্রোসি হোয়াট আর দ্য ড্রাগ ইন কেস অফ টিউবার ক্লোসিস এন্ড হোয়াট আর দ্য ড্রাগ ইন দ্য ফাইলেরিয়া এন্ড এন্ড দি মেকানিজম অ্যাকশন অফ দি ড্রাগ এন্ড দ্য সাইড এফেক্টস অফ দি ড্রাগ এন্ড ফর হাউ লং ইট উইল বি টেক ইন কেস অফ লেপ্রোসি আই হ্যাভ টোল্ড ইউ টু ড্রাগস that is the dapson and rifampicin and in case of possibacillary and in case of multibacillary dapson rifampicin and clofazimin so the dose rifampicin i have told you the 600 mg dapson 100 mg and clofazimin 300 mg but in case of multibacillary the clofazimin will be 15 mg per day i have already told you in case of tuberculosis it is very important to about the drugs the multi drug therapy four drugs first two months and the rest two drug for the six month if it is a six month regime in other 9 months then the drug will change and the mechanism action of the how isoniazide how um, rifampicin how pyrazinamide mode of mechanism of action which is bacteriostatic if there is a hampering in the cell wall synthesis in case of isoniazide pyrazinamide cause it is not it is a pro drug it is converted into pyrazinamic acid and it acts so you have to remember all the things in case of filariasis you have to prevent how to prevent you have to use the mosquito net so that the mosquito cannot bite so early it is always important the early detection early diagnosis and early treatment is the best option for these diseases thank you